Hey everyone, welcome back, and today I will address what I believe to be the main reason that keeps Maya users away from moving to Blender. Alright, so here we go. Blender has no equivalent to MailScript. So for anyone who doesn't know what MailScript is, MailScript is a built-in system to Maya that allows the user to create their own commands. It's very different from Blender's custom properties, drivers, operators, or Python add-ons, because it's easier to learn, easier to use, and requires no programming knowledge or experience to use. So what does it look like? Well, Maya has this window that automatically documents the code for everything you do in the program. When you click on an object, this is what the code looks like. When you move an object, this is the code. When you create a box, duplicate it three times, and then name it John, Bill, and Jill, this is the code for that. And at any point, you can copy, paste, and save that code as a button and anytime you press that button, it will do the exact sequence of events perfectly. You might be wondering, how is this useful? Well, you might want your hands to be in different poses, like clenched, chop, open, point, or thumbs up. Now, in Blender, if you wanted to make controllers for those, you would have to perform some sort of driver or Python gymnastics. And if you've never used Blender before, you'll probably have to use hours or even days or weeks of your time looking at tutorials to figure out how to create, program, or set those things up. But with MailScript, you can simply do it yourself once, copy the code into your own button, and bam, you're done. You can activate your hand positions anytime. You can even assign your custom commands to hotkeys. So for example, I could make it to where every time I press the W key, it activates the close hand button. Or maybe every time I press the R key, it could activate the open hand button. It's literally that easy. No programming, operator, or driver experience required. And there's really nothing like it in Blender. As a programmer myself, I understand that this isn't a small or easy thing to implement, and I'm not condemning the Blender team for this lack of function. You guys probably don't get paid enough to do this kind of stuff. But if you want Blender to surpass Maya, this will be the biggest challenge you'll need to overcome. If Blender could implement a similar system, I can say for sure that many Maya users would have a very hard time finding reasons not to switch to Blender. And personally, as someone coming from Maya, I really look forward to seeing it surpass Maya in the near future. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this content, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you'd like to support it, you can check out my new game on Steam. It's a very small, very humble project, but it was made with a lot of heart and a lot of soul. So please check that out if you have the chance. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.